Hi, my name is Jean-Francois Sobietsky. I'm a nutritionist, a holistic healer, and medicinal plant researcher from Johannesburg, South Africa. Today I'm going to be looking at cholesterol um, and how we can use natural medicine to control cholesterol. Now, people have often blamed cholesterol for heart disease, uh, but the truth of the matter is that cholesterol is an essential substance in our, in our bodies and serves many functions. Very high amounts, of course, is not good, but um, a certain amount of cholesterol is essential for, for our health. The real problem is actually oxycholesterol. Oxycholesterol is, is, is formed when we deep fry f foods. And I'm, I myself am quite guilty at, at frying a lot of foods, uh, like with eggs, you know, with, with fats and that. And that creates oxycholesterol, which causes inflammation. Inflammation is the main predisposer of disease in the body. This is an essential principle. And that oxycholesterol causes inflammation in the arteries, which then leads to plaque build-up sites. So by reducing inflammation and reducing that um, oxycholesterol, we can really prevent heart disease. Um, so deep frying foods is really a bad idea. Um, this is why the Mediterranean diet is so good, is because the, the Mediterraneans, they eat a lot of whole foods, fresh whole foods with olive oil, which is anti-inflammatory. It has anti-inflammatory compounds. When you taste that, that tingling on the tongue, it's good quality olive oil. That is anti-inflammatory compounds. Um, and wine red wine, all those red pigments and grapes, uh, cherries and berries, etc. They keep the arteries clean. So the red wine, the olive oil and the fish, the fish with a good source of, of, of um, anti-inflammatory omega-3 oils is why the Mediterranean have less heart disease. So we can, in, we can really protect our heart by not frying foods, um, eating the right fats, which is you can find um, in, your, in your whole foods like nuts, um, fish like I said, um, avocados are a great source of uh, fats and even butter. Butter is a saturated fat but it's much better than margarine. Margarine is a, uh, is a hydrogenated fat, also creates a lot of inflammation and problems in the body. Margarine is a heart killer so I wouldn't touch any margarine even if it's got a heart stamp on it. Um, so eating a lot of the anti-inflammatory foods. So which foods can we eat to protect our hearts? So it's the berries, uh, the cherries, the red wine, the olive oil is fantastic. Um, also fiber. Apples are an amazing anti-cholesterol food. The pectin in the, the apples, it's a form of, um, uh, it's a substance, a, a plant substance, helps to lower and uh, cholesterol by, by helping it uh, eliminate from the body, as well as the mucilages. They have hemicelluloses, such as guar gum and psyllium husk fiber, and also um, flax seeds, which help prevent um, cholesterol. A really great food for lowering cholesterol and helping to, to uh, regulate cholesterol is oats. So by eating more oats, apples, berries, nuts, um, and uh, fish, fish for the fish oil, or if we don't want to destroy our seas, which is a major thing, as to eat flax, seed or flax seeds. Um, all those foods will help us to reduce inflammation, but we also can eat certain medicinal plants like baobab. Um, it's a superfood, and there's a there's a range of superfoods now, super, called superfoods, which you can get baobab fruit pulp. That is very anti-inflammatory and high of source um, of, of natural vitamin C, which is great. And so those having that diversity of foods, of those particular types of foods, the fibers, those uh, soluble fibers the berries with all the anthocyanins, so those red pigments are called anthocyanins, they keep the arteries clean um, and not frying uh, foods in fats um, will prevent us from having heart disease. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this brief in introduction and for more information on superfoods you can see my website phytoalchemy, p-h-y-t-o, alchemy.co.za for my online courses there on food as medicine and medicinal plants. Thanks for joining me. Cheers, till next time.